Hi, I'm thanks a lot for listening to this uh, tutorial video on panel data analysis in EVUs. So previously I have made a series of videos uh, on panel data analysis, uh, video on the theory of uh, panel data analysis. I have made a series of videos uh, on panel data analysis in data. Uh, show you how to uh, estimate fix as well as a random effect model uh, tutorial on how to run Postman specification test I have made a lot more other uh, videos on panel data analysis so uh, as I have told you in the previous video we have to uh, feature our data in certain manner. So uh, we have uh, a series of 36 countries representing countries in Sub-Saharan Africa in this uh, Excel file. So we have uh, the first country uh, which is Benin, which is uh, Benin, which have uh, in the second column the, the country ID 1. So we have year of uh, observation of our different variable, which uh, which is from 1917, 1970 to uh, 2018. So we have uh, variables such as IMF purchase, PPG, uh, GNI, which stand for gross national income and the total debt service in percentage of food and services and primary income. So we have uh, uh, each country Benin, uh, for example Benin we have one as country ID and we have observation on Benin through 1970 to uh, 2018. We have the second country which is Benin and which is Burundi which have uh, two as the country indicator and we have also data running from uh, uh, 1970 to uh, 2018. So we have uh, uh, any uh, other countries such as Burkina Faso, Cameroon and, and so on. So we have uh, first of all country uh, which is repeated as much as there are time observation and thirdly uh, or fourthly we have uh, uh, different variable that are recorded in the data set in, uh, and while your data set have been uh, featured like this in this excel file you are now ready to run uh, panel data analysis in EVU. So the first thing to do is to uh, first of all double click to uh, open EVUs. So it takes some time. So once EVUs have been opened, you can close this tab that is open. So just go uh, to import file by clicking on uh, file, import and click on import from file. After clicking to in import from file, you just need to navigate your uh, computer to go in the folder which, in which your Excel file is located and just click on your Excel file and follow the procedure uh, through the last stage and finish your uh, importation and this tab is open asking you uh, to link imported series and alpha uh, and alpha object to external sources that's the question click on no and you can see that your variable has been uh, recorded in EVUS. So we are now ready to uh, 
from panel data analysis using EViews because our data set is uh, imported in uh, panel format. So uh, to uh, estimate our panel data analysis, you just need to go to uh, option uh, to quick, quick, quick and estimate equation. Click on estimate equation. So uh, we select our dependent variable here. Our dependent variable is IMF purchase. IMF purchase following by the explanatory variable. I start with constant C. We have a uh, total debt service as a uh, First variable, we have uh, GNI, gross national income. We have uh, PPG. We have at least at last uh, we have PPG and uh, and that's it about variables. So we have. Uh, our dependent variable, which is IMF purchase, uh, total debt service, uh, we have uh, GNI and EPG as variable that we are going to use to explain our IMF purchase to see whether or not uh, debts have impact on IMF purchase. So uh, we go on. Secondly, on panel data option, panel option. So we just change cross section to be fixed or random effect model. So if you click on a uh, fixed effect, for example, and then click on OK, you will see that our fixed effect model has been uh, estimated and we have. Uh, our coefficient, the significant, we have a uh, total debt service which is uh, statistically significant and the effect is positive. So the debt have a um, positive effect on IMF purchase according to uh, our fixed effect model. So we also have PPG which have, uh, which is significant which significantly influence the IMF purchase. So the GNI didn't significantly influence IMF purchase, but the sign of GNI on IMF purchase is negative, meaning that if GNI was statistically significant, so the impact would have been negative on IMF purchase. So let us uh, also estimate a random effect model. So we have our random effect model which have almost a uh, different coefficient significant 5% uh, level. So uh, we can also we can for example test for uh, make a test specification in order to see whether or not uh, Fix or random effect model is better in this situation. So, uh, to make a uh, Hosman specification test, you need to first of all estimate your random effect model. So, if uh, I estimate a fixed effect model and go to view uh, fixed random effect testing and uh, go on. Hosman correlated random effect Hosman test. So this will show this uh, message to to recommend me to estimate a random effect model in order to run Hosman specification test. So we need to estimate a random effect model first in order to make. Uh, Hosman specification test by clicking on view, view, and fix random effect testing, and finally correlated random effect 
Hosman test. So we click on OK and the result of a Hosman random test is here, which a uh, p value of uh, 40%, meaning that uh, our null hypothesis, which is a uh, random effect, is a uh, consistent model, is accepted. So, uh, in all, uh, rather than estimating a fixed effect model, we should estimate a random effect model. So we have, you can see that uh, our random effect model have a very slow uh, R, R square. In contrary to uh, our fixed uh, effect model, uh, which have a most higher uh, R square. Uh, but uh, our Hosman specification test show that we should estimate a uh, a random effect model in order to uh, better analyze the dependence between uh, IMF uh, total debt service and the uh, IMF purchase. So we can, after estimating a, a, a random effect model, look for uh, residual testing for example, uh, uh, see whether or not our residual are normally distributed or not. To do so, we can go on view and click on fix and residual diagnostics, and then click on hike histogram normality test. So we can see the result of our uh, Jack Berra test, uh, which have a p-value that is almost null, meaning that we accept the null hypothesis, meaning that our stand, uh, our error, uh, we reject our null hypothesis, meaning that uh, the our null hypothesis is uh, our residual are normally distributed. So we reject our null hypothesis, meaning that our residual are not uh, normally distributed, so we should not uh, uh, use this model to analyze the impact of uh, debt on IMF purchase because one of our uh, hypotheses in which a uh, panel that analysis is made is violated. So we can also uh, look at uh, serial correlation in residual so we also go on view residual and uh, cross-sectional dependent tests and we can see that uh, we didn't have enough information in order to compute this test that's because some of the statistic and p-value are unavailable because of uh, because of the fact that our panel is not very uh, it's not balanced, it's not balanced, and there are many missing data in our, our panel. In our, in our panel, so uh, we have uh, any other uh, possibility of estimating uh, of testing for uh, normal distribution of residual a below elasticity or serial correlation in our residual. So that's it for this uh, tutorial on panel data analysis using EDUs and I hope this tutorial has helped you very well understand uh, how to estimate uh, panel data analysis, mainly fixed or random effect model as well as uh, choosing bef between a uh, random or fixed effect model through Hosman specification tests.